Hello everybody, this is Alexander Taj from Dias Design and I would like to show you uh, how to use the Ultimate Model Windows plugin that we created. So let's go ahead and get started and just add the new plugin and navigate to the file that you purchased and downloaded. Press upload and then navigate there. So here we go, ultimate model uh, windows install, wait a little bit and then it's installing, activate, wait again, then it appears right here at the bottom. You just go there, you click there and you press add new. Uh, you can give it a name or you can you don't have to this is just for admin purposes but I will uh, call this a demo um, I already have you know here's your content you can um, in, insert the content that you want I already have prepared some actually some HTML that I'm using uh, so I just insert it here uh, then you can specify the style. Let's say I want this 600 pixels wide. Uh, top position is 10% is fine. I add the padding of 20 pixels. Um, I don't want to mess with the close button at the moment, but um, so you can do quite a few things with its styling as well. Uh, you can change the background color, border color, and things like that. Um, then um, display, this is the important part, this controls how, it, how the um, pop-up is displayed. So you can do the, when the page loads it gets displayed and you can actually specify the delay. Um, so let's say, well just load it, um, load it right away, you know. And um, I don't want to mess with the cookies yet. And let's say I want to include a form in there. So I'll put name field, email field, phone field, comment field, everything. Um, and um, I have also prepared some colors uh, that I want to use. So. I want to use this green color and for the hover state um, well let's say I'll go for four I don't know a lighter and um, that's it you can set, change the text color you can do um, I want to add the 20 padding and zero top body padding and uh, here we go just press add new model window and wait a little bit it is being added so here it is here's the short code for it i just you know copy this short code and then i go to the page where i want to have the the pop-up here's a, uh, a little neat page that i prepared and i just insert it here insert the shortcut and update wait for it to update and then uh, let's check it out here we go it appears here since I'm a pop-up blah 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 there is a form you know it's scrollable uh, there is a form that you can use um, let's say I put some stuff in in there I try to send it will ask me to correct the fields so let's say I do um, press send and it gives you confirmation and closes by itself. So this is neat, isn't it? Uh, let's take a look at the email settings. Actually, I should have set up the email settings before that because here I can, you know, I can have my email. It will send it to my email. I can specify the de the uh, close delay. 
to two seconds for example I can change the uh, text I will use my cream color one second let me grab it yeah I will use my green color I will use the same size of um, text for confirmation and arrow red for the arrow text is fine and just click save changes now let's take a look at uh, what else can we do with this pop-up go to edit and um, let's say I want to change the triggers and let's say I want it to work when you click on something we'll give you this little uh, hint that besides having a short code on the page you also need to add an ID to your link or button which is also usually also a link uh, so here I go and I have my button here and I add the ID and X is my model window number which is one and just update wait a little bit and let's refresh and that's right it happened because I didn't update the model window itself so here we go now let's try it again and let's try clicking here we go here is the pop-up nice and neat I can close it and let's try something else Uh, let's uh, try when the window is scrolled update and when you do that uh, also remove the ID let's refresh so here I am if I try to scroll I get the, um, the pop-up nice well let's try the uh, the last hook uh, which is when the user tries to leave the page update and let's take a look at it refresh And the way it works is, let's say I'm on the page, and then I, you know, I reach to close it. I move my cursor, and here it comes the pop-up. Uh, that's how it works. So now let's try to maybe do some crazy styling. Okay, so for example, here I can say close. Um, I can have some background color um, different background color different border color uh, let's make um, your eyes bleed now um, this is a this is a text color as far as I remember um, yeah make it white um, padding border uh, let's make it three pixels or something um, what else can we do what else can we do guys um, form background color you can change the form background color if you might want to do it for some reason um, button text color I want to mess with that um, well um let's say i want to add some border uh some crazy border five pixels uh things like that um let's say move it just five percent move the top and um let's take a look back refresh and bam a 
Okay, here's how you can style it. 